Okay, okay, hey guys. So this week we are going to be making a screwdriver. Um, a little bit on the harder side of things because um, we're going to be combining two objects, but it should be super quick. So go ahead and open up a new scene and then you're going to be making a cylinder. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of my background for you guys. Um, you can add in a cylinder. You can just use the normal dimensions. You don't have to change anything quite yet. And then go to your front view, click on view, go to image plane and then import image. So um, from here, you're going to be importing whatever reference you're using um, for your screwdriver. All right, so this was the reference I used. You can scale it up a bit and then press E and rotate it so that you can actually model it flat and then just move it up so it's somewhere on the ground. Go ahead and put uh, one into the Y axis to move that guy on the ground. And then you can turn on wireframe to see where your reference is gonna add up. When you're uh, with your reference selected, go over here and click on looking through camera so we can't see it in the four perspective views. All right, go ahead back into object mode. And what we're gonna be doing is selecting the vertices and scaling them to be the width of our screwdriver. Go ahead and select the top and just go all the way up. All right, looks good. Um, okay, so now we're just gonna go through, you can go into wireframe mode and you're gonna make multi-cuts. So go into object mode, hold shift and use multi-cut tool, hold control and just make some multi-cuts using your middle click on your computer. All right, that looks pretty good. And then go into vertex mode and select the vertices and then you're going to be scaling them using R and holding control and moving that top button. And you'll just be scaling them to look more like your um, screwdriver. So just follow the silhouette pretty clearly Add as many multi-cuts as you need. Um, yeah. Looking pretty good. Okay. If you press three, you can go ahead and see kind of what it's gonna look like. Looks pretty good. I think these guys are a little too big, so I'm just gonna scale those in. Like that, okay, looking good. I'm gonna add another multi-cut right here because um, I think it needs one. Oh, watch out if you do that. That's just vertex face mode. Don't be alarmed. Okay. Last one. All right, cool, we'll, we'll say that. I'm gonna go ahead and move this like bottom vertice down a little bit so that it comes to a little bit more of like a point at the bottom. You don't have to do that. Um, just kind of whatever you think looks the best. All right, I like how that's looking. Next thing we're going to do, press one so you're not in subdivisions and then select the uh, top vertices or top faces, Q, hold tab, extrude them and then offset them in to be however wide you want your point to be. Maybe like that's good. Yeah. All right, and then you can go ahead and delete those since, uh... all right, looks good. So now we're gonna do, let's go through and let's bevel all of these edges. So we'll bevel this guy. Maybe pretty small fraction. Let's see how that's gonna, yeah, that looks good. All right, and then the rest of that looks pretty good, except for this bottom. So I'll bevel this one too. Maybe like that. All right, looking good. All right, next what we're gonna be doing is adding that cool little design, um, like the inlets on the inside. So just click Q, be in face mode, hold tab, and just click and drag 
on every other one of these and go all the way around your object. We're going to be extruding these guys and then offsetting them and then pushing them into the mesh to make kind of like little divots. All right, last one, control E, and then you can go ahead and offset them in maybe like 0.05 and then extrude again and do local translate Z into the mesh, maybe like another 0.05, not too deep. It's just supposed to be a small little detail. All right, that looks good. So next thing we're gonna have to do is make the little um, point basically. So make a cylinder, move it up. I'm gonna make my radius like 0.2. Ooh, I think it needs to be smaller. Let's try 0.15. That seems pretty good. Go ahead and move it down so it clips into that mesh. Yeah, that's a good size. Go into vertex mode, select these top vertices and just drag up. However tall you want yours to be, maybe like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to make a couple of multi-cuts. So um, let's do one, go into object mode, multi-cut tool. Do maybe like one, however long you want the tip to be, so maybe like right there. And then do another one to be like the end of the circular part. So maybe like right here, just a little further down. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and select those top faces. Click R and just pinch it in using these side guys. And then you can drag it out a little bit. Yeah, it looks, it looks all right. Okay, next thing you're going to be doing, I think this needs to be a little farther down. So go into vertex mode, click W and then just move them down. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, next thing I think what we should do is probably pinch this vertex ring in a little bit. So click R and then just scale it in holding control and then click W and move it down. So it looks kind of like that. Now this is really just however you want yours to look. Uh, you don't have to make yours looking like mine, totally up to you. Um, when you press 3, you see it does a little weird thing, so that just means we need to go through and bevel our edges. So go through, click the top one, Control b is beveling, do two segments, and that honestly should be good. Um, let's see how that looks. Yeah. And then you can go ahead and bevel this edge down here as well, adding two segments. Let's see. Yeah, I like how that looks. I feel like it's a little too wide at the top, so I'm just gonna select these vertices and scale them. Uh, scale them holding control on the top. Go into object mode, and then you can kind of see what it's gonna turn out to be. On the bottom, when you press three, you see it does this kind of weird thing. Press one, go into wireframe mode, and select that bottom loop edge down there. Edge, bevel that edge. Make it really thin because you want it to be a good circle on the bottom. So like 0.1. Much better. Okay. Go into regular. Let's see how that's looking. All right. Pretty happy with how that's coming out. I think I think I'm gonna call it. Um, you can totally go through and add like any more detail that you want, but. This is just a super simple version of a screwdriver. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys next time for whatever we're making next. Bye guys.